The deceased have been identified as 18-year-old Moses Wanjira Okwenye and Patrick Babu, both residents of Tabongo village in Tira, Sikunda, sub-county. According to eyewitnesses, the deceased in company of the injured had dug over 10 meters deep when the soils collapsed and buried them alive. Nae, e chinya chikuta bantu wa meka, baba deba nyam, bana mchinya. Neriku hata kwa bantu wa vili, wansi ya baba de wansi, bonani wakona chi, itaka nivafira wansi. Ate okusima kwa we, si kurungu. Bia garanga basima, kumeriku stepu, na ima nivatuale, ichi wanfu, ngati ukulichi, stepu. An excavator was brought in immediately, but only two people were rescued. The mine belongs to the Greenstone Resources Company, and the owner, Patel Namit, has promised compensation for the bereaved families. We will take care of their families. We are already committed to take care of the burial. We are taken, committed to pay them monthly salary, whatever they were earning, every month to the widows for next uh, whatever year till their children grow up. However, employees of the mine complain that poor working conditions could have led to the death of the colleagues. As you they were recruiting, recruiting people, they deceived the people that we are going to work for 10,000. For how much? For 10,000. As we entered there, they, they changed it. They told us all the life from the management, from the manager's office, that we are, we are working for 5,000. We have agreement in place. Agreement they sign before reading it. When they take money, it's, uh, they take money and they sign the vouchers. So there's no question of, of uh, this thing. Whatever we are committed, the, the salary levels are different for different skill sets. Mm -hmm. So if there's somebody pure helper, unskilled worker.